Welcome to NHS Forth Valley. Return to Fitness, a physiotherapy-led rehabilitation programme. My name is Adele and this is Katrina and we will both be delivering this programme. This programme is aimed at people recovering from MSK conditions and people that would like to generally improve their activity levels alongside their general health and well-being. This series consists of four classes which progressively get harder. We recommend that you start at a level that feels right for you. Remember to pace yourself through each class and take rest periods as needed. You may need to complete this class for a few weeks before you start to feel the benefits. And remember that you complete each class as many times as you wish. We advise that you complete this programme at least once a week. Remember that heart doesn't mean harm. Exercise soreness after class is entirely normal and may last for a day or two, so please don't be put off by that. Um, if you have underlying health conditions, particularly osteoporosis, or if you're pregnant, we'd ask that you just check with your GP or your physiotherapist before starting um, these exercise classes. When you come to do your classes, um, if you're going to be doing level one or level two, you will require a chair and a little bit of space um, at home. If you're working on level three or level four, which is slightly more difficult, um, these have a mat work section. So you would maybe put a mat on the floor or just ensure you have a little bit of space on your carpet that you can move around safely. Um, there's also the option to add some weights um, if you have weights at home, that's wonderful. These can be maybe one or two kilograms in weight. We wouldn't recommend much more than that. Uh, or alternatively, you could use a couple of tins of soup if you have something handy like that. Um, in terms of what you are wearing, something comfortable and loose like we're wearing today and ideally a pair of trainers so you're safe and supported and um, you have a good grip with the floor. The format of our classes will be, um, we'll start with a warm up, um, which will be led by Adele, and Adele will also lead the circuit part of the classes. Now, the circuit um, part of the classes you could perhaps run through twice if you wish, um, depending on how you're feeling on that particular day. This will be followed by the stretching section, section which is led by myself, and we'll do a cool down at the end with the option of some, some relaxation after that. Okay, I think that's the formalities out of the way. Let's begin. This is the warm-up section of our video. Let's get moving. So we're going to start off by marching on the spot, lifting the knees nice and high, getting an arm swing. If you need to support the chair, that's fine. Just lightly hold on. Lift the knees nice and high. I'm trying to get warmed up. So next exercise we're going to go into is our heel digs with the bicep curl. So we're going to dig a heel. And curl the bicep. If you need the support of the chair, that's fine. You can lightly hold on. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and back into march again. Just work at your own pace. Those that have been doing this class for a while, try and keep up at my pace. Next exercise is full taps with the lateral arm raise. If you need the support of the chair again, that's absolutely fine. Four, three, two, one, and back into the march again. 
next one we're going to do is toe taps behind with an arm raise out to the front. And starting on the right leg. Four, three, two, one, and back into a march again. Getting the arms swinging, knees nice and high. Next exercise we're going into is heel flex. So again, we need to support the chair to hold on. Five, four, three, three, one, back into the march. So you should start to feel nice and warm. Get the heart rate up. And then get started with the next section. So we're going to do some nice shoulder circles. I'll turn the arm again if you need to hold on to the chair, that's absolutely fine. It's warming up the shoulders, getting a bit of mobility. Two and one, a little bit of rotations. Through the spine. And that's us. Should be feeling warm. And we're on to the next section in the second. This is the first exercise, knee press ups. So down on your mat, on the knees, you can either have a wide stance with your hands or a wee bit narrower, you're working with just two different muscle groups, narrower, you're working your triceps, wide, you're working your pec muscles at the front, okay? So timer's on, off you go for a minute. Okay, press down, push back up. Okay, so you're trying to keep the back nice and flat doing this exercise. And the core nice and tight so you're in a nice strong position. If you want to change over to a different grip the hands, that's fine. That's us halfway. I'm going to change over and hit my pecs a bit more. Keep working, you're doing really well. Last 10 seconds, keep pushing those last few repetitions out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now we're on to the next exercise, which is in standing. This is the second exercise for our squat taps. So timer's on for a minute. So we're squatting down, tap out to the side for two, back up, down. So we're down for four this time. So we're going to be adding two on each time. Back up, down again, down for six. So stay down, keep low, working those legs hard. So really feel this one on the thighs. Back up, down again. So down for eight this time, and then we'll start climbing down. Keep going, keep staying low, lovely. Halfway, back up, sugar out if you need to. Back down, so down for six. Well done, keep working hard. Legs should be feeling that, down for four. Nearly there. Last one, down for two. Perfect, well done. Third exercise, bunny hops. So you can either use a stick or have an imaginary line along your floor and at home. Okay, so timers are on, off we go, bend the knees, up and over. So make sure when you land, you're keeping the knees nice and soft. You can use the arms for a swing through just to get a bit of height. Keep going, these are doing really well. Top exercise. Halfway through, keep pushing. Make sure you're landing nice and soft, those knees. Keep going. 
one last few seconds left. Last 10. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. This is the fourth exercise, weighted squats. So back with the dumbbells, or tits up soup again, okay. One in each hand, timer's off for a minute. Hip width apart is where your feet should be, okay. And off we go. So just make sure your knees are tracking in line with your toes. Make sure they're not falling inwards. Keeping that back nice and flat. So just hinging back at the hip as if you're going to take a seat. That's us halfway. Keep pushing. Doing really well. Remember to squeeze that bum as you come back up to engage the glutes. Keep working really hard. Doing really well. Last 10 seconds. Keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Well done. This is the fifth exercise weighted walking lunges. Okay, so make sure you've got space cleared. On the right, and off we go for a minute. Okay, so. Big step out in front, push back up. Lovely. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and straight. And dip in forward. Tummy nice and tight. So core's engaged. Keeping your balance. Ensure that back leg is running parallel with the floor. Halfway through, keep pushing. So you're doing really well, legs will begin to fit and tired at this stage, but we keep working. Nearly there. Of like, keep going. Last few reps, 10 seconds left. Last few reps, get one more set out. Five, four, three. Two and one. Well done. For the next three exercises, we are now down onto the floor or onto a mat if you have one. So feel free to pause the video to get yourself ready for the next three seconds. This is the sixth exercise, cycling. So down on the mat again for this one. And what we're going to do is have our hands just, I suppose, behind our ears or at our temple area, okay? And feet are going to be up in this position, tabletop, okay? So timer's on, off we go. And we're going to crunch elbow to opposite knee. So we're staying up this whole time. So shoulders should be lifted up off the mat. And we're just extending the opposite leg. exercise, working the core muscles and working the obliques at the side. So that's us halfway through. Keep working. Doing really well. Nice and slow and controlled. Keeping those shoulders up off the mat. Not long left. Last 10 seconds. Keep going, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. This is the seventh exercise, Superman. So we're down into our four point kneeling position again. Okay, knees under hips, okay, and hands. On the shoulders are slightly in front. Okay, so off we go. Timer's on for a minute. So we're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg. 
hold for a few seconds and then control that back down, changing over. So keeping the trunk nice and steady, no wibbly wobbling about. Controlled at all times, changing over, holding of my back down, so that's us halfway through. Keep working, you're doing really well. Just a few more exercises left in this section. Really feeling those muscles in the bum working hard and around the shoulder. So the last 10 seconds, last couple of repetitions. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. This is the eighth and final exercise, marching bridge. So back down onto the mat again. To find that position, just have feet together, separate your hands, separate your toes, so you should have a wee gap between your knees. Okay, so timer's on. Off we go for a minute, so up we go. Up into a tabletop, back down, tabletop, back down. Okay, so we're going to add on two each time. So we're up for four this time. Lovely, and lower back down. Now we're up for six. Keep squeezing up the top, don't let that hip sink down. Okay, this time we're up for eight. Doing really well. And back down. Now we're up for ten. Last one. Keep going. Bum squeeze, keep the hips up high, don't let them sink down. Last couple, keep going. Last one, lovely, lower down. Well done. That's us finish this section of the circuits. You can rewind and complete this section again, otherwise, stay tuned for the mat work section up next. Welcome back again. We're going to do some mat work now. This section will comprise some stretches and some core stability work, some of which can be quite challenging. Um, you're going to need some space on the floor, a mat if you have it, or a little bit of space on the carpet. I'm going to use a folded up towel to put underneath my head in a moment or two. But we're going to start off on our backs, um, just with our head on the floor just now. So come and lie down, head on the floor, and we're going to have the knees bent. And if you bring your heels, slightly closer into the bottom, in towards your bottom, and we're going to have our feet and our knees hip distance apart, just rest your arms by your side. So the first exercise we're going to do here is leading on from our pelvic tilt that we started off with in level 3. So if you take a pelvic tilt here, so squeeze your bottom, press the lower part of your back into the mat. We're going to think about lifting up the tailbone first of all. So as you lift your tailbone up, you'll feel your bottom muscles start to work. We're going to peel the spine up off the floor until we feel like we've got our weight just in our shoulders and pressing down into our heels. We're going to roll back down here. We're going to think about replacing the bones in the spine one at a time back onto the floor. So rolling back down again. Just take your time and let your spine have a nice little bit of movement here. We're going to do this one again. So scoop underneath with your tailbone. Press the small of your back into the floor and rolling up. When, you, when your bridge is at its highest, high as you can go, then lift the arms over your head. Now, if you can, if your shoulders will allow, rest your arms on the floor as you peel your spine back down again, bone by bone, onto the floor, just to get a bit more stretch into the front of your chest and into your back. So one more of those, lifting up the tailbone, peeling up into your bridge. So a nice straight line, heel, uh, knees, hips and shoulders. 
arms over your head so you can. Lay the arms there, keep them there as you roll your spine back down. It's a lovely way to get some mobility into your spine. Bring your arms back down by your side. Okie dokes. So now you can put your head lock in. If you want to put something to support your head, that's brilliant. Um, and just rest your arms by your side. So we're going to do some exercises now to challenge the muscles and the stability around about our tummy and our pelvis. So we're going to take one leg up into tabletop. Now we're going to keep this leg bent, so we're going to have the foot in front of the knee and we're going to drift the leg out from midline and we're going to draw it back in, we're going to put it down and we're going to lift the other leg up, drift it out So hopefully you're fairly familiar with this one from the last um, mat work section that we did. We can make something a little bit more difficult by bringing both legs up. So we're going to move into double tabletop. So both legs up, off the floor, just making sure the belly button draws towards the spine. From here, keeping one leg still, we're drifting the other one. back in. So for this one I want you to really think about the leg that isn't moving, that's almost working harder. It's going to stay nice and steady and stable. Now, if this is fairly comfortable for you, we can bring in some arms. So lift your arms up above your shoulders. Now we're going to think about opposites here, so we're getting the brain into gear as well. So if you take your right leg to the side, let's drift the left arm out to the side at the same time and then we'll bring it back in again. And other diagonal, left leg, right arm, drifting out and bring it back. Keep going if you can. So we're just working into the tummy muscles here. Let's take four more of these. Making sure the belly button is pulling in towards your spine. You shouldn't feel any pain in your back and you want your back just to be in that nice neutral pelvic position that we spoke about before our last one of these and we're going to the arms back to the sides and put your feet back onto the floor. Lovely, let's take a little stretch from here. So backs of the hands wide on the floor and legs sit together. We're going to roll the knees to one side. Using your tummy muscles, roll back to the middle and then to the other side. should feel fairly comfortable. A bit more of a challenging stretch is to have both legs in tabletops, the same position as the start of the last movement we did. And we're just going to roll the knees from side to side in that lifted position. A bit of a combination this one of stretching and working through your tummy muscles at the same time. Let's just take one more to either side. If it's too much for you, just pop your feet back onto the floor. If your legs are up, you're going to put them down one at a time. Lovely. Okay, let's think about coming into our scissors movement again. So drifting up one leg to tabletop. Last time we did a little bit of a tap up and down. And we got ourselves used to coming into this position here with two legs up. So if you can, from here, both legs up. You're tapping your toes to the floor and then lifting it back up. Tapping down and lifting up. So we're thinking about moving here from your hip the angle at your knee to stay much the same and we're just thinking about challenging the muscles in the lower part of your tummy. Just take your focus for a moment to your back. We don't want to lose that nice comfortable neutral position in your back as you work through this exercise. If this is comfy, let's bring it up a little bit. Think about maybe when you're walking or running into this nice rhythmical movement as one leg comes up, the other one goes down. We're just challenging ourselves that little bit more. And we're going to count for 10, and 9, and 8, and 7, and 6, and 5, and 4, and 3, and 2, and 1. Pop your feet back onto the floor. At this point, it's quite nice to take a stretch, so lengthen your legs and take your arms over your head so we're stretching into that lovely pencil stretch let your body go as long as it can go. Good, okay, 
Okay, when you've recovered, we're going to bend the knees back up again and bring the arms down by your sides again. Okay, so let's think about stretching into the back of the thigh here. Support behind your leg and straighten your leg up towards the ceiling. So we want this knee to be straight and again you can push your tailbone down slightly. If you can, raise your hands to pull your legs slightly up towards you to make that a bit more intense. Into your hamstrings. Just really want to feel this in the back of your thigh, not, not into your calf muscle. We only want to stretch the hamstring on the setting there. Put that leg back down. Other leg. Support behind your thigh. Straighten your leg at that knee as straight as you can. Press the tailbone down. And then if you're still feeling you could do a bit more stretch, just pull the leg slightly up towards you. Just to make it a bit more intense. down. All right, so let's bring one leg up here in a stable top. We're going to extend the leg, same as last time. We're going to add a kick from here. So we're going to lift the leg up towards the ceiling. Now pull up your toes, lead with the heel as you draw your heel down towards the floor. Go we'll halfway back, fold your leg in, and put it down again. We're going to go to the table top. We're going to lengthen for a kick up, kick down, halfway up, fold back in. Tabletop, lengthen, kick up, kick down. So all this movement is coming from your hip joint. We'll do a couple more of these. So lengthen, it's a nice stretch as you come up. You're working the front of your leg, pull up your toes, squeeze your bottom on the way back down to get a bit of glutes activation as well. Let's take one more on the back. From here, let's just grab the knees one at a time and pull them into your tummy. Now, if you want to, you can cross your ankles, just gap the knees a little bit and avoid um, irritating your hip joints. Pulling your knees into your tummy, you can rock them in and out using your hands just to get a bit of stretch into the bottom part of your back. Our next little segment we're going to do is going to focus on our tummy muscles. As you uncross your feet, your ankles, pop your feet down one at a time, and we're just going to roll to the side and up into sitting. Okay, dope. So we're thinking more about our big, strong tummy muscles in this position here. So the kind of big six-pack muscle rather than the core ones quite so much. In this position here, if you can, we're going to have the knees bent and the feet hip distance apart. Now, just to start off with, quite naturally in this position, you're going to want to sit back on your tailbone. Let's start by rocking forwards. So we're taking our weight onto our sit bone, just lengthening up through your spine. If that's not nice for your hips, you can take your feet just slightly further away from you. So in this position here, we're up nice and tall and straight. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the belly button in towards your back and just shift your weight back onto your tailbone. So we're curling the bottom part of your spine into more of a C shape. So let your spine just roll back, belly button in. Helps as well scoop your pelvic floor muscle up from here. We're not gonna go so far back that we can't control. We're gonna keep that curled shape as we roll forwards. And I think it's quite nice, like a little stretch at the ends come up here. And then we're gonna come back down. So we're up nice and tall again, the spine's nice and stacked. We're dropping the belly button into the back, weight onto the tailbone. forwards keeping that curl in your spine lengthen up and stretch let's take two more like this remember if you want to you can pause this pause the video and do a couple more at any point if you find the next lines that you particularly like rolling back into the sit into the table off the sit bones rolling forwards and up. We're going to bring in some oblique work now. We're going to twist a little bit. So we're going to roll halfway back to where we were before. We're going to open up to the side. You're going to feel that in here. Side of your tummy. Back to the front. Let's go to the other side. Round and back. Go forwards and reach up. We're going to come back into the sit bones onto the tailbone. Belly button in. Rolling back. Opening up to your chest. To the front. To the other side. And rolling up. Your spine. Let's just do one more of these. So 
opening as you come back. Keeping your shoulders down from your ears, that's really important. Last one, we're going to lengthen and relax from here. Lovely. Bring yourself round onto your side. So we've had a bit of work for tummies. We're going to do a bit of work here on the muscles and the side of the hips. It's a progression from our last set that we did on level three. So we're down into our clam position again. So if you put your um, support underneath your head, and again with the legs bent up so you can see them if you look down your body. Same start up position, push the hips down and away, um, which will give you a little bit of a gap underneath your waist. Pop your hands on the floor just now. Now the next progression we're going to do here, the first level we did lifting and lowering into clam, just to remind you. Um, today we're going to try lifting the heels up, so both heels up. We're going to lift and lower with both heels up, so we're actually working both hips at the same time, which is a bit more difficult. So we're going to do five more from here. And four, and three, and two. I'm going to show another progression after this. So if you want to continue here, you can. If you're able, we can lift into clam and we can extend this top leg just to get a real workout in this top part of your hip. Make sure that you're keeping this nice lift underneath your tummy. So you're really going to feel this in these muscles in the top of your hip. Then we'll just do three more of these. If this isn't comfortable for you, you can go back to the level we just did. And two. And last one. Good. Bring the knees back together and rest the ankles down while that hip recovers. We're going to straighten both legs this time. So if you can, both legs straight along the mat. And again, we're keeping that top leg just pulled slightly longer. You can put your hand onto the mat in front of you for some, some support to start off with if you'd like. We're gonna lengthen the top leg and we're gonna lift it up. This time we're gonna kick forwards and we're gonna pull back with the heel. So we're gonna come into a paintbrush type of movement. So as if you're painting the wall below you, you're scooping your foot forwards and drawing back with your heel, just because that helps to get the glutes muscles at the back working nice and hard. So we're working through here. You want to feel like you're moving from your hip joints here. You want the leg to be nice and straight and long. Let's do three more here. And two. And last one. And then we're going to let that top leg just rest down onto the bottom leg. Let's bend up your knees from here and we're going to take a stretch into your upper back. So put your head just straight onto your, your pillow this time. Both hands resting one on top of the other. It's a lovely stretch. We worked quite hard in here, we're leaving that area just now. It's the stretch for your upper back, the middle part of your back. So we're imagining we're opening a book. Okay, so the top, we're gonna keep our eyes on the top arm. We're gonna lift our top arm up. We're gonna open through our chest and see if we can get that back arm all the way around onto the floor behind you. So we're trying to get both shoulder blades resting on the floor. And then circle that top arm back over again. Let's just take one more of those stretches from here. So we're gonna open up, keeping your eye gaze along your top arm, keeping your knees just roll to the front. Open up to that side, stretch, and then bring that top arm Nice. Well done. Let's repeat that on the other side. So press your hand onto the floor. We're going to come up and sit and then we're going to swap ends the other side. So we're into our clam position again. Okay, so our bottom arm straight if you can, bend it if your shoulder is not comfortable there and put your head supported. Knees bent up in front of you. Um, length the way with the top hip and you want to make sure your heels are lined up with the rest of your body. So again, um, pressing the hips together, we're just lifting up into clam as we did last time. The next level, we're going to bring both feet up, so we're working both hips at once. And we're opening up into clam from here, just to ensure that if you're on this level, you have still got this little bit of gap under your tummy and your hips either stacked one on top of the other or just rolled slightly forwards. We don't want to work our muscles in our back, we want to get the hip muscles in here working quite hard. We're going to take five more here and then I'm going to show you a little variation that we can do for this level that we're on just now. 
Okay, so if you want to continue here, that's enough for you. Keep going here. If you wish, we can open to clam and add a little kick. If, you like, if your muscles will allow. We're going to see three more of these. back down again. Both legs straight from here, so we're straightening out the body into a nice pencil shape. So nice and long and straight. You can keep your hands on the floor if you want to for some balance. We're going to lift the top leg up to hip height and we're coming into that paint brush movement again, so kicking it forward and back. Now you might find you want to do a little bit of tummy work here. You can draw your belly button in towards your back. That can really help stabilise. If you really can't manage this, because it is quite hard for balance, you can always have the bottom leg bend, so that's more comfortable for you. Okay, that's a bit easier with bottom leg bends. And we'll just make a few more of these movements. So moving from the hip, lovely long straight leg. And two more. As you come back, squeeze your bottom, especially if you're getting tired. Last one. And we're going to bend these up again and give them a little bit of a breather. Good. Keep your knees where they are so your hips are just turned towards the front. We're going to adjust our arms so we can take a stretch for our upper back. So rest your head onto your pillow. Arms out in front of you. Just palms resting one on the other just now. Top arm, we're going to lift it up as we open. Let that imaginary bit to the back of your hand round towards the floor. And then rainbow that arm back over your body again so your arms, your palms of your hands rest one in front of the other again. Let's just take two more of those nice stretches. So we're opening the chest, rolling back. Opening the chest and just taking that nice stretch. And bring your hands around to the front. Lovely. We're going to pop this hand onto the floor and push ourselves up to sit from here. Give yourself a little moment to come to. And our next position we're going to go into is onto our hands and knees again. So come onto your hands into this nice four point kneeling position. You can pop your cushion away to the side. If your knees are sore, again, you can pop the cushion under your knees or under your hands if that's comfortable for you. Okay, so from here, we're going to take one hand, back of the hand onto the floor. We're going to thread it underneath your arm and we're going to reach all the way along. So you're really stretching through that movement. It's our thread the needle. So we're stretching into the middle back again. This time when you pull your arm back, we're going to continue that movement, round and up towards the ceiling. And then put your hand back onto the floor. Other side, back of your hand onto the floor. We're going to thread it under and along. Again, to stretch into the back of your shoulder. Thread that arm back and we're going to reach up towards the ceiling. And then pop it back down onto the floor again. Okay, I think we'll finish off with um, a little shell stretch. So from here, just drop your bottom back onto your heels. And reach the hands forwards and away from you. We're going to add a little bit of variation to this, release the stretch slightly. And walk your hands across to one side. Drop your bottom back onto your heels. And again, walk your hands the other side. Walk them back onto your heels. And finally, hands to the middle. Just pop your knees slightly apart. And see if you can just rock your bottom slightly closer to your heels, stretch your hands forwards, and just take a few gentle breaths before we finish. And we'll walk ourselves back up again. Okay, bring yourself 
yourselves up to sit. So well done, you've finished our um, level four of our exercise classes. Um, the next part is our relaxation, so hopefully you will enjoy that. Remember, you can repeat any of the classes anytime you want to, keep working, and we'll see you soon. Now, it is time for some relaxation. You will see photos on the screen that may help with your relaxation. However, please find a comfortable position. It may be sitting, or it may be lying down. But please get yourself into that comfortable position so your body is able to relax. Now close your eyes and allow yourself to focus on this present moment and time. Allowing all thoughts to be put on hold. As you begin, bring your mind to think about where you are now, the space you are in. Notice the support your body has from the earth. Notice the feeling of the air on your skin. Any sounds around you. Let your attention move to sensations inside your body and take your awareness of your breathing and follow your breath noticing the sensations of breathing in and breathing out if you have any thoughts let them pass you by. As you come back to your breathing. Let your breathing out. Bring relaxation and heaviness to your body. Now focus on your toes and feet, curl them up and really tense all the muscles in your feet. Now release them and let them relax and loosen. Tense your calf muscles, tighten and focus on that tension. Now let go and relax. Tense your buttocks and squeeze really tight. Now release. Breathe slowly, letting go of all that tension. Tense your abdominal muscles and your lower back. Pull in tightly and then let go. Think about your breathing. Tighten your arm muscles and curl your hands into a fist. Squeeze really tightly and then let your hands fall open on the ground or your legs. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and tense your upper back. Now release. Shrug your shoulders up towards your neck and tighten your neck muscles. And now relax all these muscles. Squeeze your face into a knot bunching up your nose and mouth, pushing your tongue to the top of your mouth and clenching your jaw. 
drown as hard as you can, closing your eyes tightly. Now release and let your whole body relax as you breathe out all that tension. Feel a wave of relaxation through your body from head to toe and back again. Let your body become heavy and relaxed. Feeling warm, calm and comfortable. Let the waves of relaxation wash over you. Now, imagine yourself walking along a path or somewhere special that feels safe for you. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere in the natural world. Perhaps a beach, a mountain top, or a meadow. It could be somewhere you have been before, or somewhere in your imagination. Let's go there in your mind and imagine you are there right now. sunny morning. You can hear the birds singing and feel the freshness of the morning air on your cheeks. Every step you take, you feel fresher and more alert. You are feeling more re revitalized this morning. You feel so full of energy Every muscle in your body is carrying you forward effortlessly. Your body is fit and your mind is clear of thoughts as you watch the beautiful scenes around you unfold. You are filled with a pleasant sensation of anticipation as you approach your goal. As you look around, you may notice the flowers around you, the blue of the sky, the green of the grass, the smell in the air, and you may feel the light breeze on your face. What sounds do you hear? Birds twittering, the waves lapping, the wind in the trees, or the babbling brook. Make yourself comfortable and feel the earth holding you as you settle back and continue to relax. Feel warm, safe and at peace. The beauty of the surroundings fills your view. You breathe deeply and take it all in. This is your safe place that you can go to whenever you wish to. It is always there and will always welcome you. Relax and enjoy being there. Now slowly allow yourself to bring your awareness back to where you are. place you are in. Bring yourself back to the present moment, getting ready to continue with your day. Now, when you feel ready, take a few deep breaths 
and start to wiggle your fingers and toes. And slowly open your eyes. This concludes this exercise video. We hope you have enjoyed it. Please feel free to complete this a few times a week. There are other videos that are either more challenging or easier to, so choose which one works for you. See you next time. Thank you.